I think as we watch the way the world evolved, we're seeing more and more demand for digital solutions powered by AI, powered by apps on our phones, powered by a constant demand for content and creation. This is pushing for further and further um, expansion of data center capability, as this is the infrastructure of the new economy. At ESR, we saw a great opportunity to take our existing experience in the logistics space around Asia and use that as the core foundation of our ability to grow into the data center space. You know, it's the first development fund that ESR has done looking at nine or 10 different countries across the region. It is the first fund that has three uh, uh, large institutional investors potentially going to five. Um, it is the first uh, fund where we are working with outside operating partners because you know uh, a data center business is not just real estate, it's digital infrastructure, it requires day-to-day -day operations, uh, uh, and we, we are working with, with uh, best-in-class operators for each asset. Having launched the inaugural fund, um, you know, along with a seed pipeline, a very strong seed pipeline, and a growing relationship with the largest operating partners in the world, provides a very strong springboard for scale and growth across the Asia Pacific market for, data, uh, for ESI data centers. Um, in addition to that, we are already exploring how we can convert some of our 400 existing logistics assets, especially to provide build to suit solutions for hyperscale customers directly. In addition to the real estate angle, we're looking at future-proofing some of the digital infrastructure requirements, be it in-rack or immersion cooling, uh, be it on-site on renewable energy storage or fiber connectivity. So obviously one of the key factors was our existing relationships with large sovereign wealth and pension investors from around the region and around the world. We wanted to be able to bring them into a platform which allowed them to take advantage of the ESR multi-regional investment in the data center business. And this was attractive to them because it gave them exposure to existing markets as well as new markets and a new segment. The combination of ESR's expertise in the region, sourcing land, permitting, design and construction, as well as the expertise of the team focused on the data center business, gave our investors confidence that we'd be able to deliver a solution that was fit for purpose, as well as obviously one that was going to deliver the returns they expected. So the way we are thinking about this is to make the whole journey sustainable. Um, one, in terms of development, uh, put sustainable material and have sustainable processes. Secondly, during operations, have the right uh, power utilization effectiveness. Uh, and number three, provide renewable energy to the data centers directly, uh, either through corporate PPAs or our own solutions from our rooftops.